ladies and gentlemen of the media um, today the process completed the highest number of boxes 87 boxes uh, taking the total of completed boxes to 878 and leaving 1461 boxes remaining so we are very pleased that the pace has increased significantly with the addition of the two stations. You see we have moved from an average of about 51, 52 to now as high as 87. Um, we are hoping that we will have additional stations. You would have observed in the media, uh, the chairperson has expressed the view that she is desirous of establishing more stations. We welcome that um, initiative and we hope that it will be implemented as quickly as possible. Um, the expectation is that we should be completing 100 boxes per day and I hope that we can begin to achieve that target um, by this weekend. The chairperson, um, I understand, uh, is waiting on some uh, clarification from the COVID task force. While I, we welcome the decision to establish more uh, stations, we continue to maintain that reliance upon the COVID task force for direction is not necessary, that the protocols are public and GCOM is free. So, in compliance with those extant protocols made public, establish the um, number of stations that GCOM determined to be suitable. And we continue to say that uh, relying on the task force is not uh, the best option that is available. And we hope that the, uh, the, the, the Commission will, um, will move swiftly to implement its decision to uh, establish more task force. Um, the boxes, as they are being completed, continue to confirm the accuracy of the statements of poll published by the People's Progressive Party in every material way. And we are pleased. Uh, well, we didn't expect any different. And uh, we hope that that will continue. Um, in terms of Mingo's fraud, um, 85 boxes uh, that Mingo used that spreadsheet for um, have already been counted and uh, the total number of votes that the fraudulent spreadsheet Mingo used allocated to APNU is 4,415 votes. So I pause to repeat that Mingo's fraud allocated fraudulently and wrongly 4,415 votes to APNU AFC from 85 boxes only and reduced PPP votes by 686. So 686 votes for the PPP were fraudulently reduced by Mingo spreadsheet and that, those, that spreadsheet also allocated fraudulently 4,415 votes in favor of APNU AFC. Today, uh, the recount dealt a lot with uh, boxes from South Georgetown, where, as, as you know, that is a APNU AFC stronghold. And remarkably, we didn't hear any allegation of dead voters voting and migrants voters voting. Wherever the PPP support is, the allegation is that dead and migrated people voted, that in those areas alone, APNU, AFC polling agents conspired with the PPP. In those areas alone, the presiding officers of GCOM conspired with the PPP. But in South Georgetown, suddenly, those polling agents of APNU 
AFC behaved excellently and conducted their functions with distinction, and so did the uh, presiding officers. The story just doesn't make sense. As they go along, they continue to make up. Significantly, you will recall that in Region 1, when we tabulated the Region 1 votes, one of the uh, criticism that APNU AFC leveled was the unusually high incidence of use of oath of identities. As I said to you on the last occasion, an oath of identity is one of the um, lawful method of ID that the law provides, the representation of the People Act provides, to be used. And it has been used, or it was used, throughout the country. In fact, each presiding officer, as I said to you, were given specimens of these oaths of identity to distribute to voters. And I indicated to you that all parties, or all voters from different parties, would have used this oath, in particular because GCOM did not um, distribute ID cards for at least for the last cycle of registration. And you all know that. No ID cards were issued. So the only other form of ID would have been the oath of identity. But they made a big issue of it. Why I am reminding you of it is because in one box in South Rumfeld, one box, they had 44, 44 oaths of identity being used. Not that I am I, I'm, I'm putting that as a criticism. I am just showing you that their criticism of it in Region 1 is completely preposterous because it is something that is, would prevail or would be found prevalent throughout all the regions. So that singling out, that, um, that Region 1 issue was completely without basis and, and one of the frivolous and trivial uh, objections that they continue to make. Um, another significant development is the statement from the Carter Center, where the Carter Center expressed deep regret that the government of Guyana chose not to grant them permission to come, although they have uh, requested permission to come, to return rather, on a number of occasions. And of course, you know that they have been duly accredited to observe the elections to its end, and the election is still ongoing. Therefore, their mission is incomplete and the government has acted totally unreasonably and capriciously and in my, my view illegally in refusing Carter Center's permission. It, it seems as if you know the government continues to traverse a, a suicidal path because I don't understand if, if, if you look at the, the pros and cons of the Carter Center issue what would the Carter Center do if they are present here? All they will do is observe the process. That's all they will do. And look at, on the other hand, look at the damage to Guyana's credentials. Look at the damage to transparency of the process that um, is done because of the government withholding permission from Carter Center. It damages the government's image. It damages Guyana's democratic credentials. It damages... The, the, you know, the, the process itself. And, and so the decision of the government to refuse Carter Center's permission to return is one that cannot be explained on any rational ground. It remains one of those um, erratic and eccentric decisions. And, 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 you know, it makes the government look as though they, they really have something to hide. And I don't understand. Perhaps they will better explain it. But it is simply not explicable on the ground of common sense, logic, or international relations. Um, so I will pause here, and I will invite your questions. Mr. Nagawal, you y yes. said that eight, five boxes uh, have been counted, recounted so far, for which your party... No, I said 87. Oh. Today, 87 boxes today. No, I was, oh, 85 boxes of Mingo's um, fraud. Okay. Total, so far. Mingo. 
Mingo. Yes, Mingo, 85. We, I, I thought, I, yes, I thought we went through this, um, this issue on a number of occasions, but if you want me to go through it again, when Mingo uh, stopped using the SOPs and produced that spreadsheet, we requested from him the, an explanation of the origin of that spreadsheet. He never explained where he got it from. In fact, he said that he extrapolated it from numbers on the SOPs. So we said, well, we need to verify from our SOPs and the SOPs that you have that the numbers correspond on the spreadsheet. That's the only way we can know, unless you manufacture it. He never produced those SOPs. And up to now, those SOPs have never been produced. However, when he was calling those numbers, on the spreadsheet, we had our SOPs and we were making notes and decided another document of the numbers he was calling as they differed from our, uh, from our SOPs. In addition, we have audio recording and we may have also video clippings of, um, of Mingo's reading numbers from a state, from a, that spreadsheet that did not coincide with statements of poll that we have and 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 I, i've seen a couple of those clips even on, on facebook being um being uh circulated one party has been putting out those audio clippings would your party put out the audio and video clippings that you have because there's a question of whether the tabulation that you would be spitting out is verifiable the, well we have put out our statements of poll no i mean Yes. How do we, the public, verify those numbers? Would you put out the audio that you Yes, have? certainly we will put out whatever audio we have, but the important thing is that we have put out our statements of poll, and that is the official document. Now, anyone who wants to contradict that is, of course, free to do so by producing a statement of poll. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the electoral day activities, each party would have been given a copy of the same sta document called a statement of poll. And that remains the official record of the proceedings. And significantly, each box produces here a statement of recount after the count. And that statement of recount is matching in every material way to the figures on our SOPs. So there is no other SOPs that is in circulation other than the one that we have put out. Well, the other parties I know have put out as well. But I'm speaking from the APNU or GCOM. And if anyone has any SOPs that are contradicting ours, we will welcome them to put it out there. And, 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 and let me tell you that if they had in existence such uh, SOPs, it would have been already out there. So um, I, I don't think that we need to rehash that case over and over again. I think that narrative has been well constructed already that the SORs and the SOPs are matching. Yes, yeah, yeah, certainly, okay. certainly. Okay. And we would like um, Mingo also, or GCOM, to put out Mingo's spreadsheet. Mr. They should put out Mingo's spreadsheet as well. Nandra, Let you see it. Mr. Nandra, I, could, I could remember that on three occasions, on two occasions I asked you directly Yes. Or you answered directly on one occasion and at the press con at the court and at the press conference, you answered again in tandem with Ms. Dr. Ali and I asked the general secretary and he also vouched for the numbers that were published. Um from my own investigation mm -hmm. of the tabulation that was posted by you, there were eight polling stations mm -hmm. that were absent from your tabulation. Yes. This is what I checked personally. Yes. And that's the reason why I was asking that question. Which question? If you vote for the numbers that your party put out here. Of course, we would not right. put put out and document and numbers that we have not, we, we cannot vouch for. I specifically asked if all 
the statements of Paul's war gear, and I was given the affirmative answer, right? Um, all of that time, knowing that from my own investigation, that in one area alone, one little area mm. alone, eight polling stations, not polling place, mm. stations were absent from that tabulation. Oh, you mean? Oh, no. If statement you, your contention is that statements of poll were missing from our bundle correct. not that they are incorrect now if so i'm happy so that's the first thing that we got to make clear that your allegation is not that our sops are mi are, are incorrect is that some were missing from the the, the place at some point in time or missing from my tabulation. tabulation well i don't know at what stage because, you know, we took some time to gather statements of poll. That was at the end after statements of poll, all right. Statements of... the first um, tabulation that you put out uh -huh. and the second tabulation. Okay. So, your contention is that some of our statements, are eight, are missing? That's in one area. That one area, all right. Well, if you can write us and give us the, the areas, perhaps we can send it to you. Have you checked back and see whether they are now updated? Because as I said to you, it took some time in outlying areas to receive all the statements of poll. So I don't, I can't say here with perfection that, you know, all were put up, 100% were put up. But whatever was put up or whatever were put up, I will vouch for their accuracy. But as far as I am aware, as I stand here, all, all the statements of poll are up there now. And if you go, you can check it. All right. And, and, and I would I really invite you to, with the same kind of uh, clinical aggression, get the APNU to put up just one, not, 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 not 12, 2200, just one. Let them put up one. Yeah, on right. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you.